What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here and I'm coming at you with a quick update video regarding the new 4.3 update, iTunes 10.2 and the software unlocks for the iPhone 4 and the 6.15 baseband for the 3GS and 3G. Now first off, I want to say iOS 4.3 is coming on March 11th and I would advise everyone to stay away if you rely on a jailbreak or on lock. The moment you update, it'll be impossible to jailbreak unless you downgrade, but then you'll lose your baseband and that'll make it impossible to unlock. So definitely stay away from this until there's a jailbreak tool that I release a video on that says it's okay to update. Also, for whatever reason, the Verizon iPhone is not getting the 4.3 update. And if you have a second gen device, which is the iPhone 3G or iPod Touch second gen, you will not be getting this update. Basically, 4.2.1 is your final firmware for your device. And that's a good thing because it's permanently jailbroken. Now, iTunes 10.2 was just released on March 2nd. And it's perfectly fine to update. I can confirm that everything works. Your restores, your everything works. So go ahead and update in iTunes if you wish. Just when the 4.3 update comes around, make sure you don't click that button on accident. To all iPhone 4 users who are waiting patiently for an unlock, <laughs> it's not like you can do anything else. But yeah, thank you for being very patient. I appreciate it. The dev team has found a working exploit that they're just perfecting on the 4.3 beta firmware. Now, if Apple doesn't patch their exploit in the initial release, then we should have an unlock maybe a week or two after the initial release of 4.3. So a big thanks to the dev team, really appreciate their hard work and to all the very patient people out there. Now regarding the 6.15 baseband on the 3GS and 3G, there's been no word. The dev team said they were working on a way to downgrade the baseband, but nothing, no progress after that. So just sit tight. There's nothing else for you to do right now, but just wait for the dev team to release something. And of course, I will make a video when that becomes available. Now I have a question to my subscribers which I don't usually do. I basically ordered a Panasonic TM900 for future videos and shooting in 1080p. Now I have a question. It records in an AVC HD format which is .MTS and it can record in 60i interlaced or 60p progressive frames. And I just have a question, what would be the best program for editing it and if it's possible to make the file size not that big? So if, just a question to my fans who know their way around this type of editing. Thank you if you can answer that. And so basically that's it with the video, guys. Uh, just a quick update. Hopefully it answers some of your questions. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And have a great day.